so I hop on the exercise bike and I figure you gotta watch something. And I watched the sci-fi original premiere of Dominion. At first, I'm like, all right, now check this out. Special effects in the previews don't look so bad. It starts 25 years ago. I'm like, hold on, well, 25 years ago? Angels came to Earth and wiped out humans. And it's showing this old, like, uh, this old school mural, but with people wearing like canvas shoes and hipster jeans. And I'm like, oh my God. So, so I'm like, 25 years ago, that's pretty recent. And then I got, I got a suspicion of something. And as it went along, that was confirmed. Because we had a little guy fighting these demon things that look a lot like the ones from Legion. And then they had angel wings. And then it said based on the movie Dominion, uh, sorry, the, the movie Legion. And I was like, oh my god. Sci-fi is so starving for content. Somebody came up to him and said, hey, there's this really shitty movie that was commercial flop and critical failure. I'd like to turn it into a series. And they said, here's your money. And this premiere struck me like a, in part, maybe it started life as a made-for-TV follow-up, a straight-to-video follow-up, a sequel of some sort, and then it became a series. Like, it had that kind of vibe to it. Visual effects were fairly strong at first, and then they kind of went down. Our characters are incredibly uninteresting. Michael, the archangel who saves man, is emotionless, and yet he conducts some kind of nightly orgy with like the hottest women in Las Vegas, now called Vega. Are you uninterested yet? We have a whole slew of Australians and Brits, and they can't decide on an accent. So we have Alan Dale, who is like the governor, essentially. He's he's like a general, but he's basically in charge of the city. And he's going with the American accent like he did on the OC. His daughter is straight up British. Why? Because we don't give a shit. Or at least sci-fi doesn't. And the women weren't too bad looking. And you know that's a prerequisite these days, right? Just to get anybody's attention. Don't kill the hot chick in the premiere. Well, everybody's been recast since the movie. Gabriel's hiding out in some mountain, like, Wicked Witch of the West, with flying monkeys swarming up, ready to attack Vega. What do they do, just fly over the shield lights? Like, pretty crappy system. I don't know how they held out that long. They attack the generator, whatever. Protagonist from the movie gets knifed and dies. His name's Jeep. I don't even recall that because that movie was so heinous. My mind blocked it out of my memory so I wouldn't have to relive traumatic events. I think Dennis Quaid was in it. And the kid from Tokyo Drift. So, then we have our big reveal that the chosen one is the guy we've been watching the whole time. Can't even remember his name, damn it. I know he's in love with like the governor dudes, general whatever's daughter. And of course they have to call it House. So it's like House Ricin. Then we have people walking around like the straight out of Dune. What they do is they took a movie that was a Terminator 2 ripoff with the big warriors battling over the child of the future. They took that and they turned it into a Dune ripoff with these various factions trying to collect in on the Game of Thrones hype. Oh, we have betrayals. It's not much of a betrayal when everything's telegraphed. Like, yeah, this Senator douchebag, we know he's the bad guy. We know he's up to no good. This guy is so arrogant and stupid. And this made me laugh out loud. There was a war where angels slaughtered a bunch of people. Anybody alive should be highly religious and be like, yes, we now believe angels exist. They're not all good, but maybe some are. That should be the reality. When this guy Michael says, this kid over here is the chosen one, you should be like, yes, sir. Instead, he's like, I don't believe him. Chosen one, 
I've seen more ridiculous stuff. You know, the evidence is pointing towards this being factual. And the guy's like, ma, that's a bunch of malarkey. I don't believe you. These people need me as a leader. Screw this chosen one shit. Yeah, normally I, th I don't like the chosen one diatribe. But I'll tell you, this guy should have been eating this shit up. Hell no. We got people fighting alongside angels and they're like, I don't believe in Jesus.